All right, so unfortunately, I'm getting a pretty late start to the day, and I'm in kind of a rush to beat the daylight right now, as it's 4.22. But anyways, I did install the roof rack, if you guys saw the unboxing video, but I didn't film it just because it was a cold day, and I was kind of just in a rush just to get it on and everything. Like, I was getting ready for school. Like, school started this week. I already had a ton of homework that I was doing all morning. But let's go check out the rack. For the rack, it's pretty straightforward and self-explanatory. These I got off of my dad's car that he had originally had, so I just took those. And now when putting on the rack, there's... Hold on, let me take that off for you guys. All right, so I'm putting on the rack. There is this piece, oh, come on, you're not gonna focus right now? So, all right, there was this piece here that clips in, and it pretty much sits in, there's a lip, you can't really see much, but there's a lip that comes right here in this ledge, and you pretty much just use this to tighten it, and it pulls into here. I know, cringy. hopefully it doesn't scratch it. But um, you measured, it was actually, I don't know if you could see the numbers on it. Yeah, you kind of can if it decides to focus. There it is. But yeah, so that was, whoa, now it's all out of whack. Whoa. Hello. All right, so that was pretty much that. And it was really just a game of trial and error, just lining it up back and forth and just trying to see if it stayed even and where exactly to put it how far to space them apart blah 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 all that in general why isn't this focusing this is really pissing me off now really okay so now that we finally focused i have a few pictures of it from the outside that i will insert But there's something else that I have besides these. I know I really didn't go in depth here, but like I said, I didn't film it, it was cold, so here they are. Coming back into the car. I'll start it now. Oh, nope. It actually isn't that bad today. So it's 45 degrees right now, which is great right now because the weather has been shit. And again, I'm sorry I didn't really go too in-depth with the roof rack, but I do have another goodie that my girlfriend actually got me, and I'm pretty stoked to try out. If you guys... Whoa. 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 If you guys saw my video on my review, I kind of had to lay the camera on my seat, and it just didn't look too good, so she actually bought me the dashboard mount that I was looking at without me knowing, so thank you. And I'm gonna try that out today, and we're gonna see how today goes and see exactly what we have in store. I'm pretty much, I have an idea of the video, so you guys will see that in the title. I was just checking to see exactly how cold it was outside, but enough of me talking, let's get to it. All right, so let's talk about exactly what I have done to the car because that is a frequently asked question from a ton of people on my Instagram, on the YouTube, so we're just gonna make a good video out of it because it's a decent day. We're right by the water here. It's, it's a right kind of cold. Actually, if you guys, Mexico is right over there. You see? So we're not lying to you. When we go to Mexico, it's actually really close. So, <laughs> so now starting underneath the hood, I have here, you guys can kind of see it. It's, come on, come on, come on. All right, so I have the engine intake, which comes right back down here, straight in. Nope, can't see nothing. Oh no, kind of can see. Eh, but you guys get where it goes. It goes to the goodness and nice big filter. This right here, the only problem with the intake actually that I had a little trouble with is this rubber grommet here it wouldn't let the um, sensor sit in it 
and hold it so sometimes driving it would like actually bounce out so I don't know you guys probably can't see it again okay but as you can see I actually cut a hole in the side of the rubber gr rubber grommet well I can't talk and just put this piece of the sensor through it it wasn't um, that was already there I didn't break nothing or do anything funky like that to make it work but it held in and it's been thousands of miles since so that hasn't come out and another thing I have done here is my custom short shifter it's pretty similar to how the cob one would be set up which is the one I was looking at as you can see I have the markings there to know if it was straight or not afterwards you know I just made a few lines to make sure I put it back in right and it is definitely shorter uh, we did have to troubleshoot to make sure like sometimes the throw was it was just too short so the car wouldn't even go into gear but it's actually perfect now like I actually I cannot complain for a custom job done at home it's really like inexpensive and it works and again that hasn't come off that's been on for miles I actually did that when I did the intake too because it's right underneath so I figured might as well bang them out at the same time but under the hood that's all that's done for now um, oh well you can't see but I do have the ATP catalyst downpipe can't see that for nothing was a bit absolute bitch to put in that's that's it I do get a check engine light but only when I'm like on a highway in like a sixth gear kind of overdrive kind of I guess you could say when the RPMs are low and I'm in a higher gear that's really only when it comes up on the highway daily driving around town and everything it doesn't come up so I really don't mind it and I do have the access port which we will get to after that helps me out completely I made a custom plate mount because I did not want them to drill into my front bumper because that just drilling into my car just doesn't sound all that pleasant I'm pretty sure it doesn't sound pleasant for anyone but it you can't see this for shit probably but it goes in and clamps through the grill as you can see this part is open and a lot of people did tell me about airflow because it does cut off there's vent no vents here as you can see but it cuts off like right around here where that line is give or take and also right here as you can see there's no vent so it still has all of this to go to the radiator and the intercooler is on the bottom so it really doesn't matter and like the colder temperatures and everything like that really I just I don't see why I'd overheat it all maybe if I went on like a track day or something and I needed all of the airflow to come in just to be safe then I'd take it off or something just for the track day but in New York we need front plate I wasn't drilling in to the bumper I wasn't gonna leave it in my windshield because that's just stupid wow sorry guys I'm like trying to balance and I'm shaking but um again little thing just personal preference I guess you could say a lot of people would feel different but on to the wheels that are actually peeling a little bit as you guys could see so me and my dad painted these we did a there oh my car is all together just extremely filthy right now so don't mind that but we pretty much just got a paint from AutoZone and did it ourselves and it really came out really good especially when they're clean they still look good but the only thing is the salt and everything might have eaten away at them so this spring I am gonna recoat them but besides that I have 20 millimeter spacers up front just because I tried to eliminate that gap here like as you can see most of it is eliminated that this wheel used to sit in way more and it, it was just terrible I maybe have a picture so I'll double check if I do and I'll insert it and so those are 20 mil on the front and I did 25 mil on the rear as you can see they're bigger and also same thing here just tried to eliminate that gap which this one definitely I was actually gonna get 20 for the back and thank god I didn't because I would have most likely been pretty unsatisfied because even with that I didn't realize how much wider it actually is so 20 would have like just barely cut like this I feel like is perfect 20 would have like just sucked I would have just regretted it pretty much straight fault
also, I know I did a few revs for the exhaust. The intake sounds insane. I highly recommend you guys go watch my, actually my first video ever was on the intake. Just simple driving clips, some revs, just the noises it makes, all the goodness noises. But hopefully when I set you guys up on my dash here, you'll also be able to hear noises. So let me just try and set that up right now. All right, so I quickly came to realize that the mount is actually for glass and not the dashboard, I guess. The way the suction cups are, they're a different kind of material rather than what they would be for the dashboard. I'm not really sure. But I did mount it up on my window, on my windshield, pointing forward. So this actually should be pretty cool. And I'm really hoping it doesn't fall, but at least this is a really good way to get some clips. And when I do a review or something, this is actually gonna help me a lot more. So I'm just gonna, oh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take it easy at first just to see how it goes, but it's actually on there. I tugged on it a bit, so hopefully the audio is good, because if not, I'm really not upset with that setup, and I hope it's not moving. I'll see when I edit. But like I said, it'll probably be a lot better to Second gear. Woo! Oh yeah. I'm pretty sure that moved the camera a little bit, but but the camera is about to die. It said it wasn't, so I'm just gonna exit this here using the mount. And I like this a lot for videos, maybe hopefully some future car reviews on some other people. Oh, safety first. But I extremely like that. And I hope the camera isn't dead right now and I'm talking to a dead camera. Hopefully make some sort of noise or something so it could alert me. But anyways, as always guys, oh, huge thanks for watching. I will catch you guys next video. And peace out.